Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Alex. And in today's episode of Bike Matters, we'll be talking about the maxi scooters, which we think are the ones to be looking out for. These bikes are in no particular order. There are plenty more other maxi scooters out on the road. This is just a quick roundup. If we've missed yours, please don't be offended. So Alex, can you tell us what exactly is a maxi scooter? Yeah, definitely. So uh, a maxi scooter, as a quick note for those that are unsure really, they're slightly different to normal scooters. I mean, the name does suggest, of course, they're maxi, so generally bigger than normal scooters. In terms of comfort, they're equivalent to the smaller versions as well, though. So, of course, that means that you've got your ease of use, your economic performance, you're going to have great scooter performance, basically, and then you're going to have the bigger engine. So that does mean that you're going to be comfortable at higher speeds, you're going to be longer commutes is what you're going to be looking for for the maxi scooters. It doesn't mean it's bad for low speeds or city riding at all, but, you know, no, maxi scooters exactly. get the best of both worlds, basically. Of course, in the first um, video here, we're going to be looking at the smaller scooters, so up to about 300cc. Next time, we're going to be looking at a few of the bigger lads on the market. So first up, a repeat offender. Not quite a maxi scooter, but a higher CC one, all the same. The Vespa GTS 300, uh, it's a great one to start with. The GTS has become very popular over the UK uh, in recent years, partly due to the incredible styling and also the single cylinder four stroke engine, which will be comfortable at any speeds. Along with its classic look, you also get some modern tech, ABS is standard, ASR traction control system. You have a few options with the Vespa, such as the GTS 300 Super, Super Sport. There is a bit of a premium to this bike there at £4,899, but many of the Vespa faithfuls will argue that you get a lot for your money with this bike. And then we have the Yamaha X-Max 300. Now Yamaha do have something quite special with the Max range, so the X-Max is part of that. So the T-Max as well. Uh, the X-Max was re-released to meet Euro 4 regulations and it's given a 300cc engine. It's a lighter frame as well than the previous 250 model. Now the X-Max 300 comes with ABS and traction control and motorcycle style front forks for increased stability as well. It's a sportier feel to the handling that you get from those forks. The bike does also come with keyless ignition and the price comes in at about £5,199 but you do get a lot for your money here. Of course the X-Max is a very popular bike on the market as a lot of these scooters are. So next up is the Kimco X-Town 300i. Again, a model re-released as an improved version to meet Euro 4 regulations. The X-Town 300i boasts an eye-catching modern look with a unique X-shaped LED tail light with twin LED headlights as well. You get great comfort on this bike with the five setting adjustable rear shock setup, 14 inch front and 13 inch rear wheels. All this with Bosch ABS as stopping power for the 276 cc four stroke single cylinder engine. Enough storage space here to put two full-size helmets under the seat. Price is great here at £4,599, so it's under the £5,000 mark for a 300cc Max yeah. scooter, which is, I think, why Kimco are going to sell a lot of these. Getting a lot for your money here. And then we have the Sim Joy Max 300i. Now, we do have a bike here with modern aesthetics, nippy handling and acceleration, as well as the usual modern features. So you get good storage under the seat, LED lights, ABS brakes, everything good like that. The Joy Max also has electronic fuel injection, a warm air outlet in the footwell as well for the colder commutes, so most of the time in the UK, and 14 inch front and 13 inch rear wheels. You get an adjustable backrest as well and large ergonomic seat. This all combines to give you great comfort and stability on the road. Price tag of £4,999. It does seem that they've really thought about the commuter on this one. Yeah, all of the, I'm a big fan of the warm yeah, air outlet. Great idea. A bike that I'm a particular fan of is the Honda Forza 300. A very popular bike from Honda, the Forza 300 sports a liquid called fuel injection four-stroke engine. With 11 and a half litre tank, so it's a good sized tank. Reduced weight by 12 kilograms from the previous model as well. So they have reinvented it, which I think you've already mentioned in the video. The bike will have an adjustable electric screen. LED lighting and space, again, for two full-size helmets under the seats. So these maxi scooters are really putting their name to the test with yeah, the storage. At, again, just under 5,000 at £4,999. So that is the first half of our top 10 maxi scooters list. Let us know what you think of these bikes and make sure you do subscribe so you can catch the second half of our top 10 that will come out later on. Of course, subscribe, leave a comment and thanks for watching. Thanks.